Now we got a big excavator, bigger than that uh, John Deere over there. Look at that, and look at that. <laughs> I cracked myself up with how big this one is. Hitachi, I'm guessing it's either Chinese or Japanese. But it's big, and I know that. And it says, Zaxxis 330LC, American symbol on it. Big bucket, big, big bucket. Could fit me in, like two of me in there. Maybe three. Got your little lube cans in there. And, uh, that's the cab. As you can tell, that's really high. Hydraulics. Two big tracks. This is really cool. This is the biggest excavator I've ever seen. There used to be a caterpillar one over here, and uh, it was it was bigger than that John Deere, but it was two times smaller than this thing. Anyway, now we'll go on to some of the littler stuff. Here's a view of all the machines that I just showed you. D um, 300Es. John Deere's over there, D8N, Caterpillar, whatever the hell that is, and your uh, excavators. And then over there, your front end loader. Now this is for all you tractor fans. We got some Fords. Um, I believe this is either, let's start with this one, I should say first. Let's say this one's a 9N. I imagine it could be an 8N because the 9N looks like the 8N. And, uh, gasoline, I believe. I'm not sure. Yep, it's gasoline because right there is your fully loaded carburetor. That's how you know it's gasoline. It's manual. Um, I believe these start by pushing it all the way over and then either up or down and it cranks it and um, key start also does a key start but you can start it with this if you want to and um, yeah all right um sorry the lens cap was just on um this is a ford 2000 this was the type of tractor that I saw down at the other farm that I showed you before I was even here. I don't know what model that one was, but this is the type of tractor that it was. Except that one didn't have a front end loader on it. This has weights on the side tires. Not the smaller tires, the bigger tires have weights. Heavy weights. What was that? Anyway, this is hydraulics and front end lights for the bucket. Um, now we'll go to the next one. Oh, yeah, I believe this is a diesel. Not sure. I'd have to check the carb, if it has a carb. This is a Ford 600. This is a gasoline, I believe. Um... No, I'd have to check, but um, this does not have a front bucket, but I believe it does have an attachment for one. Maybe that's just this one. Air cleaner. Um, that was random air cleanage. Uh, that also starts by the handle. This, I do not see a carburetor, and it should have been right there. This is either a generator or an alternator. It looks more like an alternator. Again, could be a generator. But, um, uh, that's pretty much the tractors there. There used to be a Farmel Super H here that I always used to search up on YouTube, but there's only been one. And it was actually supercharged. I didn't like the supercharged one. But, uh, these right here, I believe, are cedars planters. I don't know. Anyway, they run on engines too, but they're covered up, so you can't see them. Anyway, I got two more things to show you guys. 
All right. Um, that says, or that doesn't say anything. I should say. Um, that doesn't have a stack on it, but that's the place that it would go. There's a cover there. Um, really, it's mufferless. That one's not. Now I'm gonna take some pictures and um, I'm gonna just show you everything all over again of all those big machines, but not the little tractor. Sorry, guys. See you later. Comment, rate, and subscribe, please. See you guys later.